Alright, so here we are with our final. I joined a open lobby for a little league called GTMX from Mexico, and yeah, a lot of the drivers are from Mexico, and I'm like one of the only handful of Americans here, and I started the front row. We're doing a rolling start, not a rolling start, we're doing a standing start, actually. Obviously, the guys with all-wheel drive are going to have an advantage, so I got to do something here to start. Going to go to the inside. Oh, I didn't really mean to chop you that much, dude. Sorry. But you know what? We got the start we needed. Heading into T1. Man, these guys are actually pretty good. Normally, with these open lobbies, you have, like, a first corner wreck. But no, these guys were actually really clean through the start. Okay. Just trying to break the toe here. He's going on the outside, but that's not going to be enough, buddy. Oh, just keep it. Stick it, stick it. Come on. Oh, okay. He, he went off track. All right, good. <laughs> good for me. Now, this is actually the first race I'm doing at Yamagiwa, and it's for... Uh, Miyabi Yamagiwa combined layout. So this should be interesting. It's a timed race, so yeah, a 10 minute race. I was gonna check the lap to right now, but then I just realized oh crap, it's timed. Smooth sailing so far, nothing, nothing really to report. Getting around these hairpins that combine or that go into Miyabi is really interesting. So the other American fell back to fourth. I'm the only American up front. Got two Mexican drivers right behind me. And then the rest of the top eight is pretty much six Mexicans and two Americans. Well, it takes care of the first lap. Not bad. Not a bad start at all. Now, you might ask, like, it's just Yamagi when it's just Miyabi combined. What could be so different about it? Well, it's like the two hairpins that connect them. They change the whole game completely. I, um, I don't even know if I'm taking them correctly. It seems like I am. They do have the fastest lap after all, but... Then again, I did start further ahead of everybody else because of those standing start. Damn, what the hell happened to that one American in the top eight? Well, I'm the only one representing the US here. <laughs> Okay, I'm starting to pull away, but I'm still not 100% convinced that, that I'm just going to flat out dominate here. No, no, that's that's gonna be the end of me. Or maybe not. Well, regardless, that's not gonna help. 
shit, I just missed the apex. Oh man, now I'm starting to screw up a bit. Okay, just calm down, focus, focus there. Come on, focus. I mean, there's still several car lengths behind me, but regardless, I I need to stay focused here. Because these guys aren't pushovers like some of the people you play with in sport mode. You can tell. You can tell that they actually, they're actually they actually good racers, so... Yeah, I gotta watch out for that. And as expected, I didn't keep the fastest lap. Okay, well, Mikhail left the party. I wasn't even in the party to begin with, so it, it doesn't really matter. Like, I had my microphone off because I told him, hey, I'm recording a video, but I guess he left the party. He must have left the room then. I'm not even paying attention to the chat box. Oh, yeah. Those, those guys are clearly faster than me. They gained a lot of time in the hairpin, I guess, because look at the gap now. Maybe Hector is a one-man army at the moment. He's not really working with anybody else. Looks like he's just pulling out some fast as well. God damn it. Get out of the grass. Stay off of the grass. Like, I gotta figure out the breaking points there. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that Hector has that hairpin down. I don't. That's really helping him, because look at the gap now. Was he driving a Genesis? Okay. I'm trying to break the toe here. I do have some distance between us, so I can, you know, I am able to do that without really screwing off too much speed. I took a bit of a wide line through turn one. He took a bit of a tighter line. That's going to help him out quite a bit. But I do believe this should be the final lap. Yeah, this is definitely the final lap. We only got about a minute and 55 left. Oh, he's going for a move. That's a little bit too far back to make that move, Hector. I'm glad he backed out, though. He probably thought twice about it. Uh, this corner's gonna screw me over so bad. Yeah, look at him closing the gap even more. Oh, shit. Come on, keep it together. There we go. He's gonna choose the outside line. That's fine. It could help him get a much better exit out of this corner, though. That's the thing. So I have to be defensive into the next hairpin. Oh, come on. Keep it tight. There we go. Well, he's got an outside run. I'm gonna stick on the inside. He got around me. 
Come on, late break into the corner. Keep the spot. No. Going a little bit too deep. And this is going to be a good finish. I can tell. Only one more corner to go. Come on. He's clearly faster than me, but I have to do something here. Let's defend a bit. Take a defensive line. Oh, no. No, no, no. I, I took it. I didn't take it that good. Shit. I think he's going to have a run on me. It's going to be a photo finish. As you can see, final lap. Who's going to get it? Oh, no. He has a run. Do we have enough? No. Huh? Why did the timer reset? And why did it mark him as finishing in second? Why am I still going? No way. No, I, I don't I don't believe that it's gonna mark me down as first if I finish this lap. It's probably gonna mark me down as last because I'm gonna be the last guy who crossed the line. What the hell is going on here? You know what, let's just go ahead and finish the lap and let's see what happens. Yeah, P8 just finished and got and got the checkered flag. I didn't get the checkered flag, I got the white flag instead for whatever reason. We got a minute 30. I'm probably gonna have to slow down quite a bit in order to get the timer to go back to zero because I'm not doing another lap by myself. Well. I'm glad that didn't happen during the actual race. <laughs> well, I say the actual race. I'm in the actual race. So I got about 35 seconds left. I'm going to have to wait on the front stretch. So let's just wait for the timer to go down. Wow, are you are you shitting me? Are are you are you serious? That was not my win. No, no way. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and message Hector here. Wow. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. Other than Polyphony, fix your fucking lobbies. Jeez. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you're new to the channel, think about liking and subscribing. Because I'm going to have more future content like this. Again, I'm the Moving Chicane. Have an awesome day, everybody.